Hi guys, we will solve the lab username enumeration via response timing. The level of this lab is practitioner and the goal is to enumerate a valid username, brute force this user's password and access their account page. We have our default credentials Wiener and the password Peter and open the candidate username site in a different tab and also the candidate password site. Okay, let us access the lab. Please make sure that you proxying your traffic through burp and in burp proxy deactivate the intercept is on button. Switch back to your browser and put in an invalid username summer and the password Peter and send the app form. Okay, don't save. You see we received an error message invalid username or password. Switch to burp proxy and open the HTTP history tab and here look for post request to the endpoint login. Send this request to burp repeater and you can copy the error message from the web application and paste it in the response section. Send the request and paste the error message and you see we still received the message invalid username. Um, if you try an invalid username and password too many times, your IP will be blocked. To circumvent this, you can use the uh, X forwarded minus four uh, five hundred or the X forwarded four header to circumvent the IP block. Send the request and now change the number to five hundred one. Send the request. 502 sends a request, 503 sends a request and now you can try so many times but you have to change the value of the X forwarded header. Okay, now replace the default uh, the invalid username with our default user Wiener and the password Peter sends a request you see we received an HTTP 302 found. Now change the password to a bit longer Peter, 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 Peter. Okay. And change the X forward header to 505, send the request. See it's invalid username or password. Copy the whole password. Copy. Oh. Copy the password and add it at the end of the password and change the number to 506. Send the request. And you see the response takes longer. Now delete the password to the real password Peter, sends request and you see the response is a bit faster. Okay, now send this request to verb intruder and switch to verb intruder, open the positions tab and click the clear button. Set a mark to the value of the X forward header. And also to the username. Add. Put in a very long password, maybe 100 or more signs. Copy Peter, 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 Peter. Copy. So I think that more than 100 characters. Okay. Now switch to the payload tabs as to the payload tab and shows 
in the payload set section payload set one simple list that's the value of the x forwarded four header change this payload type to number numbers here from one to hundred and here in the max fraction digits set a zero that will spoof our IP address. Now go back to the payload sets act set payload sets section <laughs> and choose the second payload type. Of course you have to change the attack type to pitchfork. Now you can choose the second payload and here you put in the usernames from the authentication lab username site. Mark all the usernames and copy this one. In the Burp payload options section, click the paste button and start the attack. Oh, sorry, step one, so, of course, start the attack. If the attack is finished, go to the option columns and click the response received and also the response completed. Okay, now you see the response time of Arizona means that our username could be Arizona. Leave the attack window open and go back to the positions tab, click the clear button and set a mark to the value of the x forwarded for header put in the username Ari Zona and now change the password to a, a binary one well, for example tester and Add this and click the add button. Okay, close the uh, attack window and open the authentication lab site. Mark all the passwords. And copy. Switch back to your burp intruder and go to the payloads tab. Leave the first payload set at one and numbers and the second payload tab. Click the clear button in the payload options section and paste all the password passwords. And now start the attack again. Okay, now look for status which is status code 302 you see the payload 2 is Robert that means the username is Arizona and the password is Robert maybe switch to your browser put in the username Arizona and the password Robert and maybe we solve the lab Yes, we solved the lab. 